Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Women Winning With Weight and I'm here to do a little class on how to shrink your belly, <clears throat> which is the question that most people ask us. <laughs> how on earth do I shrink my belly? Um, something that you have to know, every single woman is actually different, <laughs> as you well know. We all look different, we all sound different, we've all had different experiences, we've all lived in different places. Um, all sorts of different things are going on for every single different woman. Um, even even twins, you know, they can have the same, you think they've got the same chemistry, that their body should react the same, but they don't. There's nothing more responsive to your body than your body to your thoughts and to your feelings. I teach this all the time. But what I'm going to be talking about today are some of the main reasons. I'm going to try and get through the 10. It might be a bit of a rush because I don't want to be on here forever because it's just too long for you to watch and you want to understand how to shrink your belly. Um, I'm going to go through some of the main reasons why your belly won't shrink and why it's the last thing to go for many of us when we've lost weight on other parts of our body, um, our faces, our neck, our shoulders, our boobs, our, you know, our backside, our legs, you know, they're all beginning to shake. We're getting our waist back. But sometimes it's the belly that's the last thing to go. Or for some people who haven't even got that far yet, the belly is just so uncomfortable. It's just the wobble. It's the the bloated feeling. It's the uncomfortableness of having a belly. When you're all boobs, belly and bum, it's the belly that most people obsess about. It's they, what they talk about and you compare yourself to other people. Um, I remember a story of dropping my boys off at school and somebody saying, oh, oh, congratulations in order. Are you pregnant? I was just like, oh, shit, no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I've just got a big belly. Um, and I didn't have a clue at the time what was causing the big belly. So that's why I'm here today. And that's why I decided to do a class purely on the fact of how to shrink the belly and all things belly related. So... Um, We've all had different experiences, we've all had different things going on and uh, there are specific reasons why you might not and you will not be losing weight on your belly. One reason is that um, you're not doing it correctly for your body code. I deal with a specific group of women whose body code um, has them responding in a certain way. And once you understand that, and once you understand what works for you, things work very, very differently. My camera's, camera's all at a funny angle today. Okay, so um, you need to be able to understand, one, what your body code is, and every single woman has a slightly different body code depending on her experiences and the life that she lives. No two women are the same, as we've said before. So um, some will respond and some will have different blocks and high rates, you know, some will have blocks and self-sabotage, they'll be emotionally eating at different points in the day. And um, understanding your body and how it works is actually essential. I see women that have not actually really committed. I only deal with women who are 100% committed and they really, really want to be able to lose the weight. And when they are, they will do the process, the practice and the programs that I initiate because I've been there and I know everything that's actually affecting your body and influencing your body, not my body, not your next door neighbor's body, not your sister's, not your mother's, that we will get to what's influencing and triggering your body and what's happening for you. Um, one of the questions I ask when somebody has a wobble or when somebody gets upset or they can't stick to the diet, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. What's going on in your environment? Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's try and understand what's going on for your body. What's triggering you that would have you emotionally eating, binging, those kind of things. So we really understand what your triggers are. And sometimes it's people, sometimes it's comparisons, sometimes it's being judged, sometimes it's confrontation most of the time. It's some sort of confrontation, even if it's not in your face confrontation. Um, all these things can actually be an, um, an indicator as to why your body's creating and storing fat. Now, the middle section is a particular area that I talk about the belly because that's where um, for some people it's protection 
and for um, another section of women it's where we think we need to be bigger it's where we need to be stronger it can be protection but it can also be like this armadillo this kind of like um, uh, armor that you have on we are we are women working in a in a in a male world and often we need this kind of extra shell and the, the belly will have different kind of like soft belly fat or hard belly fat i'll go into that another time basically i want to talk to you all about the belly today so um what's going on you can't just jump from one diet to the next diet because one one diet didn't help you lose weight and then you try another diet and that diet didn't help you weight lose weight and then you starved yourself and that didn't help you lose weight and maybe you lost a little bit but you gained more back um, all these for me are signs and signals that you one you don't trust your body you're not committed to your process you're not understanding what's going on for your body you don't understand your body code and um, your body doesn't trust you your body does not trust you that you're going to eat regularly you're going to eat the right things and that you're going to listen to what the body wants this is the deeper purpose of us having weight on our bodies um, and nobody else is talking about this and I am able to decipher that for you and translate that for you so that you can understand what's going on with your body and why it hi Debbie why this is actually uh, happening to your body so just to go over that again nobody's te teaching you this because you have not decided to commit to your body you've not listened to your body your body doesn't trust you because you've gone from one diet to the next diet to the next diet to the next diet and it just keeps having this knock-on effect that your body just goes whoa can't trust you there babes it's just not happening great so we've got a few people coming on board here so um as you already know i'm fiona robertson and i am the body renewer because i help you understand what's going on behind the scenes and what's going on in your body and you'll get to understand with me like i've just had a very very good coaching session with one of my clients this morning i feel freedom with food i don't have to worry about food it's so simple my body is responding i'm losing two pounds a week this is really really easy my god why didn't i do this before why did nobody tell me this <laughs> Um, basically she's getting in touch with what her body wants and she's getting in touch with her soul she's understanding what her body needs and what she came here to be and why it's not working but today we're talking about the very simple fact of belly fat so what are some of the things that um, that go on right um, if you are going through a certain age, a certain phase in your life, we can call it menopause, we can call it becoming a wiser woman, certain chemicals change in your body and you, as you go through the menopause, your metabolism slows down. Now, I talked about the metabolism last week, but not from the hormonal perspective. Um, the thing that happens is, as you well know, your adrenals are being spiked because you're stressed. It's putting a lot, pushing a lot of sugar around your body. You're needing insulin in your body to lower your sugar your sugar levels go too low you crave sugar and you come back onto the sugar craving and you start taking sugar in again your body naturally needs some sort of sugar but we need to be able to turn your body over to burning a different kind of fuel not just sugar so what's this got to do with the menopause the menopause can actually slow that down but it's not just the menopause that actually um, slows down your metabolism it's the fact that you've starved yourself you've changed from diets your body doesn't trust you your metabolism hits rock bottom that's one of the things that i talked about last week in the class that i did last week what i need to talk to you about today to do with this particular um uh, subject is as well <laughs> when you go into when you go into menopause your metabolism changes you take your hormones from different parts of your body from different organs your kidneys are needing to sort of give you the hormones that your that your um your ovaries and your womb and things would normally be the place that sort of release those those hormones through your body now if you're adrenal fatigued if you're exhausted if you have um, problems releasing those, those hormones because your adrenals are absolutely, absolutely stretched to the max because you're running on stimulants and you're running on stress and you haven't been able to control that, you haven't been able to balance those out, those hormones, you're going to go through a very, very difficult time in your menopause. Um, 
and we need to be able to get you to a point where you feel really at ease in your body so that you can have your organs that are left your liver your kidneys and things like that producing enough of the hormones so that your body is balanced so that your body is getting all the hormones that she needs it's a whole body system especially when your metabolism is low when you're going through the menopause and you are actually craving foods when you go through the menopause a lot a lot of women go through the fact that they actually start craving a lot of sugars and that's because everything is a little bit out of balance when you can change your food over and you can actually use a different kind of fuel in your body you will notice not just the weight come off you'll be calmer <laughs> you'll be more rational <laughs> and you'll have more energy throughout the day. Your body will function in a completely, completely different way. So instead of taking estrogen and things like that um, from your ovaries and from your hormones and from your monthly cycles when it's cleaning out anyway, it's gonna be taking it from the rest of your body and one of the main organs is from your kidneys. Now, the belly is a sure sign that you are hormonally imbalanced or that you have adrenal fatigue or that you have excess of insulin running through your body that means the cortisol is being reduced re, um, released which is another hormone that goes around the body and some of you may know this already but the main place that it gets stored is in the belly and even though i lost weight from the rest of my body the belly has been the last place for it to go because i have to still work on how i cope in my everyday situations and it's getting better and better and better how I cope with my levels of stress and that's why I'm always talking about knowing and being aware of your levels of stress in your body once you can reduce those the belly will start to shrink and we're talking about today shrinking your belly so without going into huge amount of scientific details about hormones and um, the, the adrenaline the insulin that runs around your body this is the place that it counts this is where you can be absolutely 100% sure anybody who's got a bloated belly or a belly or the muffin top or anything like that it is because the hormones are out of balance and the insulin is racing around the body and when you've got that as I've said in my previous videos classes in how to burn fat if you have the slightest bit of insulin around, running around your body your body will not be able to release what it has stored it is creating and it is storing fat because of what's going on in and around your vicinity and around your area. Your body does not want to lose weight. It is unnatural for your body to lose weight. It stores it because it wants it for another rainy day and because you keep starving yourself and you keep changing diets. Um, I cannot emphasize enough eating the right food, eating at the right times, being regular, being consistent, being loving and caring and talking to your body in a certain way really helps your body to shift. Hi Margarita, thanks for joining. It really helps your body to shift in a massive, massive way. So um, it is unnatural for your body to lose weight. Your body can actually only really lose about two pounds a week and I'm getting ladies who are constantly, consistently losing two pounds a week and it's getting, being really familiar with what helps your body do that, knowing your body code. So not only reducing the stress, reducing the amount of cortisol, balancing your hormones, eating the right foods, burning the foods that, burning the fat that's actually stored on your body increasing the leptin, <laughs> increasing the growth, growth hormone, which I'll be talking about in a second. Understanding all these elements of your body code, and I deal with a specific section of women whose bodies are not responding, and I help them to learn how to get their body to respond. I train them so that their body Response. It's not the fact that you have to force food or lack of food or a certain kind of food on your body But I train you and your mindset and your thoughts and your feelings so that your body goes Ah, that's what we're doing, right? We're going to create a body that we want. I have had women lose more than two pounds a week um, 
for a very short time I will allow a woman to do that they can lose like um, 10 pounds in a week that's like five kilos that's the size of a big baby my babies were five kilos can you imagine carrying around five kilos and being able to lose that in a week but this is very very um, controlled eating fasting exercising lots of rest because rest is one of the main things that's going to reduce your belly and it's going to reduce a lot of the stress that's going around in your body and the body can only lose weight when you are rested if that's not an aha moment i don't know what is your body can actually only lose weight when it's rested if a woman is not rested one i can feel it i can feel it in my whole heart and soul when she's talking to me that she's in her head she's very active she's very capable she's got a fantastic she's got a genius mind if her body is not rested and i can feel where she, where it sits i can feel it in a solar plexus or in her belly her body will not be able to respond and not be able to release the weight that she's holding on to as her one protection or her armor or whatever it's there for it is essential that a woman learns how to sleep well and rest and not allow stress to influence her the women that i teach they are empathic we are sensitive we are god-given creatures that we just are so sensitive to what is going on around us that we take it all on board what i teach is that we are able to let that go that we're not able to have the judgments or need the judgments of others or be obsessive about food or obsessive about what others eat or, or, or all the kind of questions and everything that is coming on to us and overwhelming us every single single day because we're empathic we need to be instead of strong and standing up strong and making ourselves present and being big and bold and forcing ourselves in this masculine world we need to be really strong and very sure of ourselves in the middle in the center like a rod that runs through us so we are feeling so 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 strong that allows us to be soft and feminine and let the weight go on the outside then we'll get our waist back <laughs> and then we'll like see our slimmer legs and then we'll start to get the flatter 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 belly the less we stress about things and the more we're just being that's the feminine energy and that's what we're talking about here um one of the other reasons that the body does not lose weight is that because there's inside fat that needs to be ooh, <laughs> that needs to be lost first <coughs> if you have a fatty liver fatty organs sometimes you can lose weight on the outside you start to lose the water you start to lose the weight and then it stops you plateau for quite a while and you're like I'm not losing weight anymore and most people give up become complacent and don't carry on with their with their weight loss journey that can be like in after the first month that can be like after two months or six weeks your body just kind of goes okay I see what you're doing now you're feeding me well you're feeding me the right foods I can burn the fat off now I'm going to take that on the inside and I'm going to start cleaning house I'm going to clean up your liver I'm going to clean up your kidneys I'm going to clean up all the fat that you've stored on the inside all your cholesterol and triglycerides and all these other little wonderful things so like if you've got a fatty liver your body will stop losing weight on the outside because it needs to clean house first that's sometimes when having a, a detox or something like that can really really help and um, understanding what's going on inside your body because usually people stop people kind of go oh shit it's not working anymore I'm trying really 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 hard and that's when I come in and I'm able to tell you what's happening inside your body and what you need to do <laughs> to be patient and just watch the symptoms and watch the signs and watch what's going on the belly also is very responsive because it's full of um, your intestines not just your stomach but your intestines and your gut and I'm an absolute expert nowadays having been a detox diva for the last 15 years of what's going on in your gut so not only do foods bloat your belly there are certain foods and everybody knows if they're sensitive to breads or to sugars and those kind of things because the belly just goes boof basically it's the bacteria in your belly that are expanding and giving off gas and 
all sorts of different things. They're either kind of like having a way, having a party, like the Harley Davidson boys have come in with all their beer and all the rest of it, and they're just like <laughs> drinking all this beer and having a party, leaving all their litter all around. This is what your bacteria are doing. Um, because basically they are protesting to the foods, they're protesting to the vegetables, they're protesting to the fruits, they're protesting to all sorts of different things. So they are having a whale of a time and making you extremely, extremely uncomfortable. Also, they can be very bloated if you eat a lot of sugar and drink alcohol on breads and things like that because they're like, yay! Um, your, back, your bacteria responds. This is what's going on in your garden, in your digestion area and it's your bacteria that are having a, um, a response to what you're eating. Something else that bloats the belly big time is stress. Now I've noticed this even I can be raw, detox, diva, doing all my kind of raw foods and all the rest of it, eating hardly nothing, boom my belly would bloat out and I was like god oh, blimey what is all that? Um, I have conversations <laughs> with my body. I can not only talk to her, but I actually get, you know, kind of answers back and I understand what's going on because she shows me in different ways. I'm like, what is going on with this? And then it happened again. And I understood that there was something going on in my environment that was affecting my belly. And you've got to know that um, stress or thoughts or feelings will have a big effect on the bacteria in your belly as well when they get stressed they respond and it's like um it's like they tell a story to me now it's kind of like yeah god that wasn't really a very comfortable dinner the conversation wasn't very nice and um i was really yeah i wasn't very comfortable with that person i was feeling kind of stressed boom my, my belly will explode and i'll have gas and i'll like but I ate what I normally eat and it can be to do with the the energy and the environment and the stress that I'm feeling. No one else is feeling it, I'm feeling it. So you have to understand and be very, very aware of your body and what's going on. Um, I live with my partner, his two boys and my two boys and sometimes they're like, I call their energy like wasp energy. <laughs> It's like, you just don't know where it's going to land, you don't know what's going to happen next. And sometimes if I'm tired, I'm like, oh, I can't eat with you. I can't sit down in this energy. I like, I know what I like. I know the energy that I like when I'm sitting down and I'm eating. It's tranquil. <laughs> it's easy. And, you know, it's just not working for me when all this is going on. So sometimes I have to take myself away calm myself down get in a different place sometimes um there's just music that i just i can't tolerate that kind of music and it's just like playing on my nerves and i'm like i can't do it i can't do it there was um there was a retreat i did years ago and we called it fun with food and we played with all this kind of stuff we ate on the floor we ate in silence we fed each other we played music we had different types of music we ate outside inside just for you to understand what is influencing and affecting your body and um, sometimes when somebody said oh I'm gonna play this piece of music it's so moving I absolutely love it it really affected me that I put my knife and fork down as I like, okay I know I'm not eating when I'm hearing that particular kind of music and sometimes if there's hip hop or there's some kind of music or rock music, I'm thinking that doesn't work for me. You become really aware of your body. This is what I do. This is my 222 program. This is my mindset. This is my emotional eating, stopping your blocks, releasing what's going on in your body. It, for you to be so aware of what's influencing and affecting your body is beautiful. When you start working with your soul, you've never ever lost weight with your soul on board before so that you are communicating with her and telling her so that she can trust you and you can then lay back and you can trust her this is the profoundness this is the deepness of being able to work with your body on a completely different level and the belly is what teaches me and has taught me all these different things this is what my body is teaching me 
and so that I can pass this on to you so that you understand what's going on in your body if you've been decades and you haven't been able to lose weight it could be for a number of different reasons because you're very protective of yourself you've worked in a male industry and um, it's never ever just to do with the food though I can 100% guarantee that you will lose weight when you start eating in a certain way then at a certain point you need to go a little bit deeper okay so other things that affect your belly hmm. sometimes you can be on medication even the pill or something like that that is not um, working for your body not working for your body code and your body's just going okay stop that now it's not working for me um, you need to be able to listen and it affects the bacteria and affects what's going on chemically cellularly um, in your body and we all kind of go oh, no no I don't take any medication but sometimes it can be like a vitamin there's something in that vitamin that doesn't work for you I don't work don't take this and don't take that and don't take that um, don't drink this water don't drink that water I would like you to understand how your body is working for you and what works for you so that you are able to go forward and I would be able to say okay are you able to do this on your own now no, I need, <laughs> do you need some help? <laughs> do you have anybody around you who can help you and support you in this way? No, okay, would you like me to help you? Would you like me to take you those steps further to help you understand what's going on with your body so that you can have freedom in your body, so that you don't ever have to worry about food again, so that you don't ever have to worry about what dress you can or can't wear again, so that you don't ever have to worry about walking down the beach and wobbling. The belly the belly the belly teaches so much um, as I said before sleep sleep is very very essential to your body being able to release weight and your body can release more weight when it's resting and when it's sleeping good quality sleep eight hours of sleep even I struggle to get good quality eight hour sleep but I know how essential it is when you sleep a good eight hours during the night, you are going through different waves of um, profound sleep, deep sleep, when your body's able to just let go. And these cycles come around every sort of 90 minutes, something like that. So be able to have a long section of, of those profound, deep sleeps. And that is when the hormone, the growth hormone is released. The growth hormone is what helps your body alter itself and move weight out of the body. The growth hormone does that. The other time that the growth hormone is very, very present is when we've done really, really full body, full blown intensive exercise. Like me cycling yesterday like a mad woman because I had to get back by a certain time and I was in town. I just had a, an osteopath treatment and I was cycling like mad. God, I sweated. And I really, really don't like sweating. I would avoided sweat for a long time. Uh, no running and everything like that. So um, when you've done intensive workout, afterwards, when you're in that recovery mode, when you're in that rest mode, that's when growth hormone kicks in. It doesn't only help you lose weight, help you lose the belly, but it actually is age-defying. It actually helps you stay younger. The growth hormone after a certain length of time we don't grow anymore but it's still the hormone that is needed for us to repair rejuvenate renew lose weight all right um, one other reason why your belly would be too big is you're eating too often so not only what you eat but sometimes you're eating too often so it can be that you're grazing and it could be that you're grazing from boredom because you're just generally pissed off aggravated emotional um, not in a relationship you wanted to be life isn't turning out how you wanted it to be there's so many reasons for each individual and that's why I work individually tailor-made to try and find out what's going on for you um, so when you're eating too often and you're grazing you're not teaching your body what hunger feels like if you haven't taught your body what hunger feels like and then being able to listen to what your body really really would love to eat not what's in the fridge, what can I put on my plate to fill me up, because I teach you how to be filled up in a number of other ways. All the missing nutrients. What are you really, really hungry for? When you teach your body 
to be hungry, what hunger's like, and then you feed your body, you're releasing a hormone called leptin. And leptin is what is the all hormones are communicators that communicates between your body, your cells, and your brain and says, hey, why are we eating? We've got we've got stored fat. We could use that. I re-trigger the leptin in your body so that your body is actually using the fat that's stored on the belly <laughs> and everywhere else to be used rather than getting your energy from what you're consuming. It really needs to be able to go into your body and use what's stored. It's there for a reason, but we've never allowed it to be able to be used before. We've never been able to sort of home in and say, hey, we've got, we've got more than a week, a month's worth of food here, energy stored on our body. Um, the body code is all of these things. The 222 program that I'm starting in September is an introduction to all of these things. I teach you how to work with your body. It's a group program it's making things really, really simple so that you have that freedom in your body, so that you understand what's going on in your body. It is the most beautiful thing you can do for your body and um, that's why I do what I do, because I want you to have freedom in your body, so that I want you to know what to eat and when to eat. Ladies, this has been an absolute pleasure to share with you some of the deeper reasons why you have not shrunk your belly despite starving yourself, changing diets, doing exercise and everything else. There is something going on behind the scenes and I help you understand how to influence. If you are interested in, in any of these points, any of these aha moments, please tell me which bits triggered you and come on a call with me so that I can actually help you home in and give you some wins immediately so you understand what's going on for you. The 222 program starts in September. It's another round that I'm doing. It's very successful. People are losing weight. Women are losing weight all over the place. Dozens and dozens of women are sending me messages. Lost another two pounds and off another two pounds. Lost another 10 ounces. Um, this is the way that we do it. This is what needs to be looked at. We need to listen to what's going on and what's triggering us to emotionally eat, to self-sabotage, to give up, to be complacent. The belly is our gift. The belly, <laughs> as painful as it is, will not go away until we have considered all of what is going on. I'm gonna love you and leave you, and I'm gonna wish you a very pleasant day, please contact me give me your sos tell me what's going on for you how much and when by do you want to lose that weight what have you done so far can you do this on your own have you got people around you who are going to support you to help you find out what's influencing your body let me know this is fiona robertson the body renewer signing out and i shall be back here again next week with another class to help you lose weight